and welcome back to Let's Build the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Azkaban Part 2 and we'll probably get it finished in this one now last week we did the first two floors of Azkaban Centaur has been in and she has copy pasted all of our floors for us so now we have lots more So hopefully you guys have got the same, whether you've done it by hand or by copy-paste Gives you the same result This one's much faster Okie dokie So it appears that the floor has been copied here, we don't want the floor on this one Okay, so I'm just going to go through a little bit of equipment. Okay, equipment. We want our deep slate bricks back. We want our polished deep slate blocks. Polished deep slate stairs. also going to want we'll grab some more black concrete because I don't think we're quite finished with that also want some iron bars and some tea and tea which of course means we will also need a flint and steel and I think that's it for the time being okay so just give me two ticks while I delete this floor because we don't need this floor we want a different floor I need to make sure I've got the same as what you guys have got anyway I'm just going to fast forward. gonna do now is I'm gonna have a proper look about see if I can't okay we're gonna put a lid on top of the cells using the deep slate so whoops so just the cells we're gonna cover
so and the same on the other side again it's up to you how many floors you've got you can do 20 you can do 18 you can do 5 you can do 50 well as long as the height limit allows for it anyway Okie dokie, so now we're gonna go around the outside with our polished deep slate. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put one block and then one stir. block, one stair, Turn around and go on this side. That's oh. one there. Let me just check what's going on at the back there. Nothing. Hmm. Something is not right somewhere. Hmm. What's the best way to tackle this then? Because I think I should have done that on the inside rather than the outside. Because that is back. No matter, no matter, we can fix it, we can fix it. Uh, right, I need to get my bearings, I'm confused. Right, I know what we're going to do. We're going to put another layer on top, but not all the way around. We are going to come, let me count. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven blocks in from the edge. Okay, so we're going to continue with our deep slate bricks. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to do that all the way along. all the way across the gap So what we're going to do now is count six, one, two, three, four, five, 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 six, four, five, six. So each two will come one block further in. So we get to about here, in which case it's going to take up all of it. We'll do the same on that side. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Until we meet the end. going to put a stir on the ends of those. Excuse you, Arthur. Like 
so. So I've been saying that we might do the lives every now and then as and when we feel like on Twitch. I take that back. We're not doing Twitch anymore. Um, we have invested in a game capture card so that we should be able to stream to YouTube. Might take a bit of fiddling, a bit of getting used to. It, it's certainly altered my settings. Um, but once we get the hang of it, we are hoping to stream to YouTube. Again, it's not really planned. It's just as and when we feel like in doing as and what we feel like. Two, three, four. Okay, so now we're going to come in four blocks. So it's one, two, three, four. And we're going to break that row. Stay four blocks from that end. <coughs> On the fourth block. It's as close to the middle as we can get. One, two, three, four. So then we're just going to break. Two, all the way along. That. I think we might put that back a bit. And I think we might go from there. That's better, a bit more centralised. How Voldemort gets in, excuse me, when he goes for Grindelwald, can come in through this way easily enough. Mind you, there's lots of holes poked into it by the time he gets to it. And then we're going to fill this trench in with iron. So, but you can put stairs in if you want. I'm not going to because this is based on the fifth film, essentially. And in the fifth film, it was controlled by Dementors. So, we're saying Dementors don't need stairs and visitors could stay on the ground floor and they'll bring the prisoners to them. They can easily float them or apparate them or levitate them or Wingardium Leviosa them. <laughs> so, but you can put stairs in. Let's have a go. Whee! All the way to the bottom. The only reason I'm not going to is that it's going to take forever. I'm going to start off with Four. And I'll keep going straight up with this level. Hello. People 
who want this score can get off here if you want to keep going. You can keep going. It's very difficult to see here. So here we could now take this one up here. <laughs> She's going zigzaggy stairs. the idea. It's a case of zigzagging. go on to another floor so you get the idea you can zigzag that one up there too and then up there and up there so it's a lot of zigzagging you just got to keep doing that up all your stairs and i think that's it for the main build we've got a bit of landscaping to do at the bottom which we will get to in a moment there's one last thing we need to do and because we're basing this off the fifth film were Bellatrix and her buddies escape, we need to blow some of it up. And the only problem with this is that obsidian doesn't blow up. So you're going to need to keep blowing bits in until you're happy with it. Depends how big of a hole you want. You might not even want a hole. And that's fine if you don't want a hole. So I think we want more of a hole than that. That's better. Let's get rid of that bit there feels wrong blowing a hole in it so if you look see the obsidian doesn't touch doesn't touch the obsidian which means you're gonna have to break a bit of it up yourself okay and there's our hole where Bellatrix and her friends have escaped that no nope, we can do one more thing i think probably won't put this on the screen because it's completely optional but we've got an armor stand yep we're gonna go for the helmet well we want um the Electra because it looks like a cape. Also, going to want an anvil. And a 
name pack. So we can put in Hey, I didn't put that on. Don't need that on. I'm being creative. I can fly. Here we go, get off. Oh, helps if we put the name tag in. Bellatrix. Why is my mouse playing up? There we go. Bellatrix. Ha 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 ha. Okay, so we've got one last thing to do, and that is a bit of landscaping. So now we are going to grab some stone. Stone, 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 stone. Why is my mouse playing up again? I really need to get a new mouse. I never have any luck with these. Nope, oh, no. there we go stone we're gonna go for cobblestone cobble deep slate a touch of gravel what other things do we normally have on the detailing Yeah, we got more detailing, folks. I think the mossy cobblestone and a bit of moss. So let's go for mossy cobblestone instead of normal because this is exposed to water and the elements. We'll go for a moss carpet and last but not least, a bucket of water. What we're gonna do is first things first is we're gonna draw a line underneath and we're gonna fill this in underneath here. Okay, so we're also going to come out two blocks. I'm going to go all the way to the end there. Okay, we just check the time and getting rather conscious. Of oh, we're only half an hour through. Gonna do another layer of two. One, two, three. We're going to do another row of two. I think this one's going to be a bit of a short one, this one. Then we're going to do a one and then a two.
Then we're going to do another one. And then another two. Do this all the way to the sea level. It just so happens to be there. to do one more you can it should be visible yep okay so now as you have probably guessed we're going to drag all that all the way around the build Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to line up exactly. It's meant to be rough. It's meant to be messy. So I'm just going to do this first layer. Okay, you get the idea, that goes all the way around that side too, and you bring every level round all the way around. So I'm not going to do that because you don't need to watch me do that. And then, as you probably already guessed, we're going to detail it with some mossy cobblestone. Sure you do this all the way around as well keep you busy a little while and then the same with the cobbled deep slate again it's up to you how you do this you can either go nuts and cover it all 
or you can give it a light dusting it's up to you you can actually be really creative if you are really creative and use blocks of ice and snow and try and make it look like you've got waves coming up onto it that would be pretty cool if somebody was clever enough to do that I unfortunately am not have a little bit going up the build as well a little bit of gravel add some texture and then you can go around the bottom and add some mossy carpet you could cover all of it with the mossy carpet depends how mossy you want it i'm just going to do the bottom maybe a bit at the top as well because a lot of water is going to gather around there isn't it now then it's a messy island that and that it's in the middle of the sea, so there's going to be water about on the island. I'm just going to do bits of that. That looks pretty good though. But I think we'll do one more a bit further down from there. Go. So that's the front side done. As I say, you've got to do this all the way around. You could use andesite as well. You can use any blocks that you want, really. The bubble, dead bubble, coral thingy as well also looks good. So if you have done this on a super flat world like I have, you're going to want to add in some water. So we've got 4 to 14, so that's 10 blocks. So let's go down to 14. So we're going to use our fill command. That's forward slash fill. Squiggle minus 10. Space. Squiggle minus 1. Space. Squiggle minus 10. Space. Squiggle 10. Space. Squiggle minus 10. Space. Squiggle 10. Space. Water. Now, if you don't like doing the commands, again, you, that's perfectly fine. It's whatever you're comfortable with. Some people don't like doing the commands. Some people prefer doing it by hand, even when they can do the commands. I get like that sometimes. Um, the best way is... Um, actually, let's test a theory. Do we need to build a wall? Yeah, I might do for the higher levels. If I do that all the way across there, like so. I'm just gonna make a mark of which one. It's that one I've used. Oh, I can see it. Wonder if it'll work. It does however you can't do that for the second layer it only works on the ground floor layer that one so if you don't want to use commands you are going to need to build a wall stay on the same level I prefer using the commands for this one because it gets very tedious otherwise I'm just going to keep going until I can no longer see Azkaban. And the water is already spreading out automatically 
all by itself and it should go to either end. We've got some mist appearing in the corner, it's going to disappear in a moment. Next one, I think. Oh, it's going. Last one. Now we play follow the water, chase the water, or you can cheat and help it along a bit. Okay, just to come out of here, it's taken ages to go interview. Okay, where'd it go? Getting a bit worried now, where's it gone? And you can do the same on this side. <clears throat> if you just float around a bit, follow the water, fill it in, help it, it will eventually get there. Drown the animals, drown the slime, important slime drowns. So again, it's up to you how far you take this. I think we're going to stop it there, because it's going to start getting a bit of lag I think, because it's all trying to catch up and I'm not letting it. I need to stop and let it. Okie dokie, so we're going to do one last little tiny thing and we're going to put in a command block. Now I think we're going to hide it up the top, but you can hide your block wherever you want. We're going to have it appear where we are now, so let's take a note of the coordinates. Minus 625111574. So we're going to forward slash give 
at s command underscore block. Again, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. It just makes life a lot easier because we're doing quite a lot of locations now in quite a big area. Makes things a little bit easier. Oh, we're going to need a button. A button is easier than a pressure plate because mobs may spawn in and accidentally trigger your buttons. And it will move you. I have got stuck with that before. Trying to go places and I'm not being able to get anywhere because I'm being moved constantly. Mobs. Oops. Right, we need to get the coordinates to Hogwarts first, don't we? So, where is the front? This is the front. So, water's filling in that side and that side. So, Hogwarts should be up here. Let's go to Hogwarts. I also forgot to put a teleport block inside the picture in the hog's head. In the hog's head, upstairs, the big picture we've put over the fireplace, you can put a teleport. If you knock out two blocks, you can stand in there, you can put in a command block and teleport to the room of requirement. I forgot to do that. What we're going to do is, I honestly can't remember where I've put the teleport blocks on this build. I think they're in the room of requirements or in the broom cupboard somewhere. But I'm not going to put them there. I'm going to put them where I've put them on my build. So, command block there. Let's just put TP at P, I think it was. I'm going to put in those coordinates that we've just done, which is 625 minus 625 space 111 space 574. Okay, so I'm going to put that in there. Then I'm going to put a cobblestone there. And a button on there. Before I go, I'm just going to take a note of the coordinates here. So we're going to round that up a little bit. Minus 50, 70, minus 150. Okay, so let's test it. This one should now take us to Azkaban. You can put a sign above there to say Azkaban because I've got quite a few of these on my build now. Um, to put signs above them to let you know which one's which. Azkaban. So we're going to go back up to our teleport block over here. And we're going to put in the coordinates that we've just taken from Hogwarts, which is minus 50. Space 70, space minus 150, TP uh, at P. Okay, then we're gonna put that up, put the button on it, and that takes us to Hogwarts. Feels come in handy, those buttons do. Back to Azkaban. Whee. Back to Hogwarts. And you can have those set up along all your locations, like the train station and Hogsmeade and Quidditch pitch. I might put one in for the Quidditch pitch for mine because it's quite a distance away now, and the maze and the dragon enclosure. 
You can put in as many teleport blocks as you want. Mm. Go in to wherever you want to go. But they do come in handy because, mm. as I say, we're doing the entire wizarding world, so it's going to get larger and larger and larger. So the teleport blocks are going to come in handy. Especially King's Cross Station, that's a fair distance. Because it starts, it's me train station or the bridge starts at Hogsmeade train station and then the end of the bridge ends at King's Cross station so depending how long you have your bridge it could be a fair distance okay so I think that's it for today make sure to check out the description there are links to other tutorial series such as Hogwarts and the Dern Strand ship down there and the uh, second task platforms that you've seen down there. We've also got the Quidditch Pitch, Bobatton's Carriage, the Dragon Enclosure, Hogsmeade, Hogsmeade Train Station, complete the train. I think that's it. And now Azkaban is going to have to stop listing them all because we're going to get too many to list. So, there are also links to PayPal and no more cash app cash up stop working in this country now so it's just paypal from now on i must alter that um so anybody wish to leave a tip or make a donation it's always very much appreciated and we both are very very grateful and we both thank you very very much there is also a link to our discord server come join that come try to give chat with us come chat with all the other people that are following we've got quite a substantial community going now um it's quite a friendly community too. Everybody's helping each other out, which is fantastic. You know, if you're getting a bit bogged down with the detailing, there's people there that are helping each other. Um, so that's that's great. Um, if you want to show off your build, that's the place to go. Show us your pictures, what things have you done differently. If you want to show off other builds that you've done, it doesn't even have to be Harry Potter related, or if you just want to come for a general chit chat. We're all there uh, and we're all nice and friendly. So that's it for me for today. Until next time, guys, take care of yourselves, like and subscribe. <laughs>